So coronary artery disease begins when the coronary arteries, that's the arteries that supply blood and oxygen to the heart muscle, become narrowed. The narrowings are caused by a gradual buildup of fatty deposits within the artery wall, and this process is known as atherosclerosis. In time, the narrowings may become more significant and lead to a reduction in blood flow and oxygen flow to the heart muscle when it needs it most during exercise. When this happens, the patient may experience a symptom of discomfort or tightness or even pain across the chest or in the arms or in the neck, and this symptom is called angina. To some degree, patients with angina will recognise what their normal pattern of symptom is like. And the general advice would be that if your symptoms are worsening, you should seek medical advice. If a patient experiences discomfort uh, at rest, they should take their GTN spray or GTN medication at two puffs and wait for five minutes. If the discomfort continues, they should take a further two puffs of GTN spray. If the discomfort lasts longer than 10 or 15 minutes, really they should be seeking urgent medical help, which may involve dialing 999 and uh, requesting an ambulance. Today's videos are really concentrated on investigation and treatment for angina. And the investigation we're going to talk about is coronary angiography. We will also discuss treatments which are, by and large, in the stable angina population aimed at alleviating symptoms. And the treatments we are going to talk about are treatments that are directed at treating the coronary narrowings either with angioplasty or with coronary artery bypass surgery.